It appears the U.S. has avoided new tariffs with Mexico for now. But next on the trade agenda is the U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade deal, the replacement for NAFTA. The agreement still needs congressional approval, however. KCAU 9's Anna Warnicke has the story. Texas Republican Senator John Cornyn says it's time to get moving on the United States-Mexico-Canada agreement. And I'm hopeful we can get that passed here in the Congress once it's sent over from the administration. The trade deal that replaces NAFTA has been on hold in Washington for months. It's been delayed by a number of issues, including last week's immigration battle, in which the president threatened to impose 5% tariffs on imports from Mexico. Why would we jeopardize passage of the USMCA? Why would we hurt our economy while trying to punish Mexico for not doing more. Mexico and the U.S. reached an agreement to avoid those tariffs. And Kansas Republican Congressman Ron Estes says now there's no time to waste. Farmers are hurting. Estes tweeted, the USMCA is critical for Kansas and critical for our country. It's time we secure this free and fair trade deal that manufacturers, farmers, and ranchers in the heartland and throughout our country deserve. Now, the biggest obstacle to USMCA seems to be congressional Democratic leaders. We can't be for a bill that does not improve a lot of America's working families. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says she wants to see changes to the agreement's labor, environmental, and enforcement provisions. You have to have enforcement as part of the agreement, not as part of a sidebar letter or bills that we might pass in each country part of the agreement. Pelosi has made clear she will not bring the deal up for a vote until those concerns are addressed. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke.